So here in Tanzania there is a massive issue surrounding domestic physical and sexual violence. In 2018 the statistics revealed that over 42% of women have been a victim of such an issue. However, these statistics are based on women registered with the government and who are willing to openly talk about these issues. So we assume that in fact the real number is a lot higher. We are here in Madale village in the Wazoo district to tell the story about one of the women who has been affected by such violence, but she has also been struggling with a health issue that has been affecting her for 13 years. And here is her story. <laughs> miaka 37 na nina watoto wanne mimi kabla ya kuolewa kwa kweli ndoto yangu ilikuwa ni kusoma nipate kazi nzuri nijisaidie nisaidie na wazazi lakini natamani kwamba ningekuwa nina watu tunasoma tunakuwa na unakuwa na kazi yako we mwenyewe mwanaume aweze kakunyanyasa kwa kweli sababu ya mume wangu kwa kweli kunipiga na nipiga yani hata kupiga bila sababu yoyote ile tu yani sababu nyingi ananipiga kwa mfano kuku amepotia ndani nimetafuta kwa majirani kuku aonekani eh, yule kuku kama aonekani usikuwa nitapiga kwamba yule kuku nimemuuza alivyo nipiga na nyundo hizo nyundo ananipiga mpaka panga na nishikiaga panga kabisa kuinua hivi panga kutaka kunikata panga lina anatetemeka mkono anatetemeka mkono panga panga analiachia lina shuka chini analiokota tena anachukua ngo yangu ya imeanikwa kwenye kamba huko ndani anaicharanga charanga mapanga na kwa hiyo ni mara nyingi tu kunishikia nyundo kunishikia panga yani mume wangu alivonipiga kipindi kile walivonipiga yaenda kumshitakilia akafungwe akafungwa kabisa nikasema mapote ya mbali niishi bila mwanaume Mungu mwenye atajua nitaishije lakini nikaenda kushitaki sasa kushitaki wananiambia nenda ukatibiwe kutibiwa sina hela nenda pale wananiambia nitoe hela unaona kutoa hela pale sina lakini sasa changamoto ni kwamba alivyonipiga mimi walivyonipiga wakanichangia nikawa sina nguvu ya kuweza kufanya kazi kuwasaidia watoto na watoto ni wako wake unaona nikaamua kwamba okay tuishi ili hatuzi watoto changamoto katika maisha yangu yani kuhusu na uvimbe singekuwa mume wangu kusema kwamba ni mtu wa kunywa pombe kwa hiyo kwa sasa hivi yani singekuwa hivyo kwa kaza naifanya hii ya ufundi Yaani nadhani hata hela ya kunifanya angekuwa na nijali. Na lakini yeye akifanya kazi akitoa kipata kikazi ndio hivyo za fundi kimara moja moja anapitia baa na kunywa pombe huko. Anaweza rudi ndani hana hata senti tano. Kwa hiyo nakuta changamoto kubwa ni kwamba maisha nilo naye haya ni kwamba mume wangu angekuwa angalau angeweza kunisaidia hata kuchanga changa hela kufanya nini lakini yani kwa kweli hela inaisha kwenye pombe lakini pombe ina mwalimu sana. Mika ile nimekajifungua kwa operation. Alafu nikaja tena watatu kwa operation. Sasa huyu watatu ndo nilianza ule uvimbe kuanza kuona dalili ya uvimbe. Ikaenda sasa inakuwa inakuwa mpaka sasa hivi nimejifungua huyu mwingine wa nne. Ni kwamba nikiwa mjamzito nikienda nyote sound ya kupima ujauzito uvimbe wanauona lakini aonekane ndani ya tumbo. Wanasema huko juu ya ngozi kwa hiyo wakawa wanasema ukimaliza kujifungua kwa sababu unajifungua kwa operation utakuja tukufanyie operation huo uvimbe hela yenyewe hamna ya kuweza kufanyiwa operation kwa hiyo nikawa nimekaa nalo tu hivyo hivyo nikiwaambia nikienda ustarini wanasema ah ili dude la kufanyiwa operation kwa sababu liko juu ya ngozi hata hela ya kuweza dawa ya kuweza kunywa kwa ndani kuliyeisha iwezekani kwa sababu liko juu ya ngozi inabidi fanywe operation kwa hiyo sasa hivi nilipo hapa yani linauma yani maisha yangu badilika sasa hivi kwa kweli ni ugonjwa kwanza kwa sababu hata siwezi biashara siwezi kazi siwezi nini yani ningepata msaada wa kutibiwa kwanza nikawa mzima e, mambo yote naweza nikahangaika tu e, nika So now that we've heard her story we wanted to speak to her neighbor who has been going through a similar struggle so here is her story ni aibu ya kuaibishwa mbele za watu mwanamke kuvuta unatoka ndani unatupwa nje kama junia alafu watu wanakuja na kupiga paka unabaki huchi sio jambo zuri kwa kweli ni kuaibishana na kufezeshwa unaona kwa kweli mimi sikupendezwa nalo na sikujisikia ndani ya moyo wangu vizuri wajuzi huu hapa walivyopigana asubuhi wanamburuza mwanaume anamvuta kama yani picha ile kwa kweli sikujisikia vizuri 
kuona mwanamke mwenzio anavutwa ndani kama mbu anasukuma anapelekwa na anakanga moja kipindi hicho wengine wanashabikia ikawa nimesimama pale naangalia kitendo kilichokuwa kimetendeka kwa kweli sikujisikia vizuri kwa sababu hata mimi nimeolewa nilipitia hayo paka mwisho nikaamua kunyosha mikono nikaachana na mme wangu na niliacha watoto wangu wakiwa wadogo wako darasa la pili nikaja huku darasa mpaka leo watoto wangu wako form 2 sijaenda kuwaona naangaika peke yangu nasomesha peke yangu hivyo hivyo sikuweza kumshauri kitu kingine kasema kwa sababu mimi ni Elisha nishinda naweza kumwambia mtu mwingine sema ananishauri mimi niachane au nifanye nini ila ni uamuzi wako katika kichwa chako since domestic violence is a big problem here in Tanzania we want all women to come out and speak out so that their voices can be heard um, so that they cannot accept this thing as a normal thing in their lives we want them to be aware that uh, domestic violence is not a way of living uh, we really want them to know that they are the ones who can um, encourage their husbands and children uh, to live a, a better life and we also want to encourage both women and men perception uh, towards do domestic violence to change so that everyone can live happy lives na imani jamii itakuwa imepata elimu ya kutosha kwamba ni jinsi gani wanawake wanapitia magumu na ni tunatakiwa tufanye nini kama wanajamii kuweza kubadilisha mitazamo katika jamii kwa mfano swala la upigwaji wa wanawake hebu tufikie wakati tu, tuseme inatosha Ina, ukatili mwisho ni mambo ya kishamba si kwa wanawake vijana watoto watu wote tupinge ili swala la ukatili dhidi ya wanawake